Garda Shia Karna, Karna, social carers, politicians, judges, etc. are all paid agents of the state. They protect their employer first. The state is protected at all cost for its survival, regardless of how many children have been raped, murdered or trafficked in the past. The future will be determined by the lack of action by the Irish people and not defending a child. The Irish people have shown no solidarity with the survivors of the church state-run institutions where the most horrific abuse was meted out to children over the last eight decades in the Magdalene laundries, mothers and baby homes and industrial schools, orphanages. Sexual predators of children ruled Ireland Sadly, no one is brave enough to take on such cowards because of their entrusted positions bestowed upon them by the church, state and government. The event is to highlight the unlawful abduction of kids by Tusla and family agents, agencies and Gardaí. Social workers working for Tusla have been arrested over child pornography. Also, Catherine Zapone has stated there's a massive paedophile ring going on with Tusla, Tusla and Gardaí. We want our kids back now and we will, go, will not go away. Kids have been stolen across Ireland for many years now. Tomb babies, Magdalene laundries, Artane boys, etc. I believe Tusla is the same institution using different names, pioneering for st stealing our children. We gave birth to our kids. We hold priority control over our kids, not our government. Where justice we where's justice when these people are still dealing with kids? and families on a daily basis. A shame on you, Tussler. Or they would have already been contacted. Okay. Which is obviously the Osborne is the leader. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? And um, we're here to support Angela Marie, we're Citizens Assembly, oh, peace will do. What's your name? Well, if it's okay that. for the moment, I, 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 won't, I won't give you a name. Hey, you're Angela, are you? Yep. Can I speak to you, Angela, if my name's Lizzie? Yeah, you wouldn't have to speak to me, yeah. Okay, is there a need to be recording everything for yeah. 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 well, your safety and our safety? Oh, does everyone be safe? Don't be worried. Yeah. Well, it's just that we can't be accused of saying anything against you and we can't be accused of saying anything. It's just for your own safety, that's all. Okay. Um, I'm just aware too, so I've asked you already nicely to leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I know it, you're, it seems peaceful enough. Um, is there any way that you should move down outside the building? No. So no. you can't no. be... Peacefully assembled until a demands are met, which is... Yeah. Pat, Pat Osborne, uh, if he's available, he's or, or Pat Rabbit, obviously, we're looking for, um, or else Pat Smith. What the pace there, there won't be a CEO or somebody that high coming Pat, here today. Pat Osborne, no, he, he, he yeah. should be here. Okay. He's head of complaints. Okay, but somebody like that's not going to meet with a full group? No, we've no problem engaging with Angela and mm -hmm. I'm a Mackenzie friend, so we could, we, we'll agree to that. Okay, but could you possibly um, write in a letter and leave it here today? And no, 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 it hasn't worked. Has been done. Has been done. We have got most of the other people on the list have been contacted. Mm. We've emails proved this. And this is why we've got to this stage because we've had numerous contact with them, like, and we can prove that with them. So. And it's what are you looking to gain out of today? Well, 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 we have a claim. We have a claim to report. To us, <coughs> okay. Basically, as you know, Gary, I have no connection with Pulse with Tesla, so you wouldn't be aware of these claims, but. These, it's been performed as psychological torture through parent alienation and, a, and a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cut and dry case, it's black and white. We have all the documents to support this as well. And have you reported it to guards? Well, it's, been, it's yep. been brought to the, yeah, the attention has been brought and they, they have intervened. But again, the mother had to do this, you know, and because of this she's in trouble for reporting it to guards. It's actually after coming against her. Okay, well, what's, what's the, the, the crime you're saying, psychological? Psychological uh, torture. It's apparent to alienation. Yeah, it's proven, uh, to, to, mm. to, uh, psychological torture. It's part of a mm. it's, it's performed by, um, the, uh, basically by alienation, by uh, uh, social workers not engaging. It's called under interaction, or it's or in cases of being over interaction, which has been and the who, who's been alienated? In, in, um, Fiona is the name of the child, and Angela Ray is the mother. And, and they've done this, I'll tell you how they've done this. And um, there was numerous reports, uh, numerous uh, files done by social workers, which Angela did prepare each one of them. Okay. And we have a brand for a report to prove this. And although that wasn't introduced in evidence, um, it, there's a, there's a, a comprehensive file. And what, what file. guard station did the report this day? It would have been in Carlow, where one part of this plan was involved in the report. And they did intervene, uh, but again, there was no contact with me. 
And when, when was it reported to Carlo Garza? Um, I've reported it, reported it on several occasions, but when I did, um, they refused to um, um, take any information and told me to go back to Tusla. When I was up in court, um, uh, I think it was three months ago, um, I was ordered by Judge Colin Daly that if I um, ring the Garda station anymore that um, I'd be in for big trouble again. That's right. why I've been locked up as well. <coughs> Well, we can if if you're willing to come down to the station, I can I can take a report of as you said you said there's a crime. I can take a report, and we can investigate no. it. Okay. No, we will be willing to make a report just at this particular time unless we can get uh, trust that they acknowledge the facts here because they haven't at any point been given these facts or won't accept them through red tape and bureaucracy. They tend to be able to just block and tactics, and as we were it, just trying to get somebody who would be in a position mm -hmm. where we can say. social worker reports, reservoir reports, and tobacco, everything we're saying. This is a cut and dry black and white case. I know, but if you're, uh, if you're looking to, you're saying there's been a crime committed, yes. it too so can't look after a crime, it's the guards, yes. as they're saying. So yeah. like I'm saying, I'm willing to take, I'll take a report, if you, you're you willing to come down to the station, I can take statements and I can take a report of if, you, if you're saying there's been crimes committed, and we can investigate into that would be an action that we will be considering, but and we can't get this ignored. We can't show you that there was a crime because they'll say that they were told. But there's no, so no we crime can we can liaise with with two slips. No, we're not prepared. Unfortunately, we're not prepared to Unfortunately. do it. Unfortunately. We are not moving until what's his name? Yeah, well, uh, past Smith or as Pat Laws, but like they. Five years. Five years. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, nice people. Yeah. Five years. I'm doing this. Okay, and I personally didn't want to come up here and do this and have my whole life out on social media. I have not seen my son in a year, so I'm not moving. You haven't seen your son no. in a whole year for breaking in an in-camera room. In-camera room, which is technically quite well, technically. What room did you break? In the camera room. Expo exposing my son on social media. Okay. But she had no choice. Yeah. She had no choice because it wasn't being written. They, they wouldn't report to the garage. She reported to the trust. As you know, there's no system where you really have cooperation, and that's because trust that aren't in the, you know, engaging with the court system. It's worth bearing in mind. When Angela did this, it was brought to the attention of the Gardaí thing, but she was she was uh, castigated for doing so and told that there would, might be more jail, she's breaking rules. So for, for informing Gardaí, she's been she's been sent down in camera. I know, but it's worth bearing in mind they're planning to do a look. They've given five more summonses for the same in camera room again <coughs> recently. Well, so we're, we're obviously, myself and my colleague, obviously aren't aware no, of, no, of the, the incident or the ongoing incident. Yeah. All we can do is we're and here today to, to, to try and deal with why you've all gathered here is there at the moment I can tell you now none of those people will be able to, to meet you today. But that's our demand. Like what we can do is like we can I can certainly try and speak with Tusla here um and, and see if if it's possible to make an, a, an appointment. Pat, Pat Osborne and we're not moving. Because okay. At this point Garrett, it's just that nobody in this building has and not is fully aware of this case. We've tried through the local so it's a waste of time, we're just completely alienating. And until somebody uh, just acknowledges it here, then we can come to the gallery and make a report. Because they'll just turn around and say, We weren't given this report, it's not a crime. How do we know? And when all the evidence is there, say we were trying to do this. And is Fionn in the care of the state, is he? He was placed last year for because I exposed him on social media. He's now been removed from his AT. Okay. Due to an in camera room. Well, I'm sure it, if it's it going on ongoing five years, I'm sure they haven't taken Fiona off you for 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 just. He was never actually just a bit. No, it's five times going on five years. Yeah. You got my guard. You shouldn't co comment on my child. You shouldn't take away with no, any evidence. Absolutely, I haven't seen my son in a year. A year. A year Back because I spoke. Because I spoke out. I'm just one. There's thousands. But what don't tell me you don't know. Year, you're saying five years. The, the, the background is Angela voluntarily gave her child to okay. this to this family member because she was uh, lost in the position to mind him at the time she was sick and So he's in the care of a family member. Family yeah. member, yes. That's a, that's what I'm asking okay, you. Okay, this is some background, and, and the family member now is is is, is living with someone who's part carer okay. for Fiona, who's not in a position to do so. He's sick as well at this time, okay. and we, we we want this brought to light. And for Angela doing so, she's now under trial jail. She, she got, after three years of doing that, over 70 reports, all credible, and every one of them showed that she met every piece of criteria for three and a half years. And they then allowed her to have two hours a week. Now, very, very when she gave up the child, she got two hours a week, and then all of a sudden, 
the whole thing just stopped again. And you know, we've black and white paper trained it and ask him why it stopped. And so your two to hours was stopped because stopped this in camera ago. thing? A year ago. Okay. And it's bearing in mind there was no investigation, there was no proof, it was not, wasn't proven. So anything. what's your end goal? You obviously want to be able to get some contact back to uh, see if um, My end goal is for my son to be re uh, removed from the home that he's been living with, um, with heroin for the 10 years of his life. And I want him placed back in my, ca in my care. Okay, but that won't be only up to Tuesday. This is what I'm saying to you. If you're saying there's crimes being committed, you saying there's drug use in the house where he's staying, these He's under Tussle's watch. Yeah, but this needs to be reported. They're criminal acts. Tussle won't I've deal tried to report this it. Why she's been I've tried. You camera. ask anybody in Ireland. We reported it. I'm, I'm if we reported the Gardaí, the Gardaí tell us to go to Tussle. If we go to Tussle, to the point now the judge has told me to stop bringing the guards. Okay. Well, I'm telling you now, I'll, I will, if you come down to where Kevin Street guards. No, we're are, not moving. I will. But the reason we're not moving. They're, they're criminal acts. We're not okay, moving. If you want to report, then you have to report to, to the guard. The reason the letter has to be handed up to somebody here today is the alienation has to be lifted while the other processes are being sought. And I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be made aware of it, especially that the youths are here today. We need a guarantee. And this is why we're here. We need some guarantees. This lady has tried for four, in particular the last six months, we, most of the people that's in this building, she spoke to them at one time or another. And you know, they will listen to me getting a record of this and a phone record because their emails don't get responded, their letters don't get responded. So there's no proof that she's even tried. This is proof here that, that she's been tried for years. And bear in mind, we've four year reports in Brisbane and a lot of stuff here. And it's, it's just like they don't acknowledge this. And we need an acknowledgement from someone who's in a position to say, yes, I'm an authority here. I will have a look at this matter. We will get back. I can speak, I'll speak with the staff that are here. Um, I don't think any of these CEO guys will be in a position. Well, to well, that's the demand. Okay. We'll accept Pat as, as, the, as the, he's the lowest public safety. Yeah, I think today is the alienation to be lifted. You know, it's, it, it, it's just that, you know, obviously no, nobody here wants to be here. And, you know, get out of waste for anyone's time. But we can't go until we're given an assurance that somebody has seen and read this. We have a brief report. We've already handed in a copy of it. It's only a four-page report and letter. We need an assurance that it's been read and will be dealt and seen and that they've communicated with it on Gara on this matter as well. And are you not happy for the staff to take that no. and to assure it's that it's been done? It's been done. We've done it for five years. They, they'll come back it's and just they, they, just, they just don't respond. It's called alienation. It's just like if I decide not to respond to their <laughs> staff, you, know, you, you can't engage any further. So it just seems to be continuously not non responsive. <laughs> Um, I'll look. I'll go and I'll we'll speak to our sergeant and I'll, I'll speak to the staff here and see. Um, we need see someone what to cast down assurance in writing do. that this will be looked at. We okay. can't leave unless we're given something. Right. No, we're not. We want to speak that to somebody. The demands that we gave is must be met until the alienation is lifted. We know Dion can't be placed back in our care just on demands today, but the alienation is what we want lifted. And yeah. we need to speak to the people that he's just said to you about getting the alienation lifted. Not a letter, not handing it to anyone, no promise of leaving it. Who alienation needs, he's, he's just told you who he wants to speak to. Fiona and the mother, it's a, it's a form of psychological abuse. After her three years, she met all the criteria. At this point then, they just completely cut her off. Loads of uh, letters and emails sent to, to, to us from Angela. No reply back, no reason why. Uh, uh, the only thing was they said there was a breach because of something that was posted on Facebook, which was totally irrelevant after three and a half years. And when's the case? Is it due up in court? It's been it's been continuously in and out there. When's it <coughs> next up in court? Uh, the twenty eight here. They're, they're going for this what they call sentence or suspended sentence or sentence and for this in camera breach, which they they claim has happened. And is that <coughs> happening in the family court? In Carroll, yeah, in family court. Yeah. Okay. So all she wants right now is the alienation lifted, and we need to speak to who he's but, just told you to. So like it it like. This is where this argument should be brought down, really, is in the in the courts. Yeah, when you go to argue, but this is the We're argument not that nobody in Tusla, right, is engaging with Angela and any of these matters. So when we go to the court... And have you, do you ever have a solicitor, Angela? Mackenzie. Mackenzie, yeah. Unfortunately, solicitors mm -hmm. don't seem to be able to but sort this matter they out. Can't, they won't take my case. They won't go against Tusla. And not only will they go, no, um, you can't get a criminal and a family law uh, two solicitors together as well. And they won't give you legal aid in many cases. And have you looked to get a, a different solicitor from I've the tried criminal and when, you, and when you get free legal aid, let's just bear in mind, you're given 20 minutes before you go into a court because there's thousands of women standing 10 years still up on the court steps trying to fight this system. 
So I'm <coughs> done. But have and you I already have, been given I free tried, legal aid from, it, from the previous been, case? I have tried everything. But you, the, that solicitor you could leave to now before the court I have, to, I have tried everything. They will not do it. not listening. You're not listening to me. I am listening. If I, my whole life is on social media. My son is out there and I took to come up here. Do you think I want to do this? Yeah, but so at least I'm putting nothing. No, but not that's, that's I tried everything. That's the, I don't is that that's the issue as to why you're no that's not you're that's the in camera rule, is it? They punished the child yeah. by alienating really? him from the mother Basically, because she broke the, the rule. Because because trust they weren't engaging with Garley. When she reported this abuse to Garley, that's gone on the foster home, I don't think trust the trust didn't do it with the report with Garley. She went to Garley and Garley said it's a trust related matter and they had their own legislation. So what was she left to do? She posted to some friends now, some friends, and this stuff was then taken off her page. My son is down in the house with heroin and now she's for 10 years and nobody will listen to me. I had to scream on social Spray media off. and I had to put a post up about my son for someone to listen to me to the point I had to come up here today and I'm still screaming and nobody will listen to me. I, I'm listening. I'm, I'm Just willing to, to. You won't come down and make get, a report no, no, to the station. No, we will in the well, later. Uh, but this is what I'm saying is going to progress your case. Yeah, we will. Uh, yeah, we're willing to. But, 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 but can we get at some sort of something? We can't do anything on that because all the trust that's still said we're not aware of this. There's nothing about it. But we can make them aware of it. Well, we would no. appreciate it because maybe come up and can get it him. So he, he can give us something black and white to say that they're. Need to get some of these on. Yeah. I know, yeah. 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 Just want to charge this. Oh, oh we're grand. They're hungry, but sure. I was just wondering. Uh, yeah, just. Ah, yeah. No, I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. I'm not totally no, comfortable with your family. No, it's not on you. I'm sorry, it's just on Declan. Um, so just, it's just. Uh, it's, uh, it's just that, that that's where the breakdown is happening. That's where the breakdown is. Am I in any danger here from you guys? Because I have actually been approached by the guy that she called before. I'm just asking you nicely. <laughs> No, she would have had to have had it. Um, so we tried to bring this forward here yesterday. <coughs> to, to, you know, to, they're ignoring it because the trust lab, like as I said, they're not independent. Now this has been proven as well. Like even the CEO uh, said this that that, that there's a, a frailties in the law. I know the breakdown of communication between Gara and and. Uh, trust that as well as you know like you gotta have to go and get files or have to have play to get certain files that are not forthcoming mm. when in all other countries there our social services should be linked directly to one guard like okay. it should be your you know uh, 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 well i mean i'm not saying it should be anything but it, uh, the responsibility should lay with the guardians of the state to decide whether a crime is being committed or not yeah. and, should, and, and, and by withholding the, you know, a, a direct communication the, 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 the 
trust is denying the Gardaí the right to investigate this. And when Angela went to speak, she was told, we'll go and speak to Gardaí. But when the Gardaí's hands were tied, because there's legislation which allows trust to have, which is now governed by Israel, you know the powers to have as well. Yeah. So the Gardaí uh, asked Angela to go back and speak with trust, you know, and, and, and they were saying, well, if you have a problem, go and see uh, and Gardaí. So this seems to be the... <coughs> This is the hub of the problem we're having. And because yeah. the results of all this is that Angela then felt like she had no choice but to, to go forward and speak to her friends in particular about this. And, and she posted to friends on Facebook. So <coughs> because of this then, she was she was um, given a week in jail and um, told that she'd breached an in-camera rule. Again, that's legislation that was brought in by the trust of the body. You know, they, they, they have the powers to, to create this legislation and to enact it as well. Um, and so it's totally trust the delegate matter. No, the, no DPP, no Garda yeah. delegation. Uh, it's trust that. And uh, this, this can't be allowed to continue because when you have a situation where now we have family members in, in the area where who are willing now, after all of this, to come forward and, and support and, and verify what Angela has been saying. So for the past year, she has been allowed to see her son, bearing in mind that she went through a four year program prior to this. Um, she's done numerous reports and, and uh, the Bresborough report uh, in particular was 9,000 spent on that report just to verify uh, uh, Angela's compa compatibility as a parent and assessments. She flew through all of this. Like yeah. Angela uh, uh, was sick herself initially. Now, bear in mind, she never gave Tusta any uh, charge of her child and they were, they were only brought into this um, after two years. She gave it to a family member. The, that the, 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 you know, the child was handed to a family member. Trust to became involved because the child had been handed over and because Angela was sick. But as I said, she went through the Brisbane report years later. She's progressing and progressing. She's done four years, and the access she was given was two hours a week. Now, okay, that, that I know that, that's neither here or there as things stand now. But she was expecting progression, and obviously she didn't get that. When she when she brought it, she became concerned because the whole neighbourhood seemed to be fairly sure what was going on. And so this child, so yeah. she met. This, this young boy in the car regularly with this man who's not in a fit state to take care of himself. Never mind, uh, he's, he's part care in this now. Not officially, but he's well known. So, so all of this has led to, to Angela trying to report it. Um, nobody's taken her report on board. She's felt like she's been painted into a corner and now she's come forward and she's been incarcerated. And she re received five summons yesterday, or the day before, uh, pardon me, for, for in camera breaches again. You know, you know, which is in camera breach. breach. It's a legislation that was passed by Tusk that gives them the powers to stop people speaking in court uh, or stop speaking about anything in court. No, granted, and the, yet the press can do it. You know, but no, you can speak with friends, but they don't want to come into public domain. So but it's, it's, okay. it's a gagging order. Okay. It was initially brought in to, the, to protect and rightly so uh, children and, 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 you know, and liberty when it came to you know, certain cases, you know, yeah. and, you know, and sexual cases. But it, it has been eased in the last couple of years, like in relation to, to family law and stuff like that. And the Tusla are taking this to the, to the letter of the law. <coughs> and they're doing so well, without investigating or without allowing Gary to investigate because this is, this is a, a void in the system. You know, because we can prove we have numerous accounts where we went to the Garda and, and their hands are tied. Because of this legislation, you go to the Tusla and they say, well, if you have a problem, go and see in Garda. I had so. asked <clears throat> over a four year period for the guards in Carlo to uh, uh, address the foster father with the heroin abuse. Okay. I produced pictures and they told me that was Tusla's responsibility. Now, I have evidence and proof of that. It was from past the book. And then um, in the last sitting of the court, the judge ordered me not to be ringing the guards anymore <coughs> and sending the, car the guards down to the foster family's home. Okay. So it's very confusing for me, as a parent, how can you have one rule for one house and one for another? So at this point, it took to come up here, yeah. because I'm screaming from the rooftops now, there is absolutely nobody listening, and nobody cares. Okay. And the recent equal report now did say TUS is not fit for purpose, but the main thing, the problem, main problem with TUS that, is there an in, they're meant to be an independent adjudicator. So as you can see, they've all this legislative powers, they the court to do all this. But here's the problem. When you're dealing with a, a case where you have a foster a, a carer and you have a mother where they have an issue, 
they're arbitrating this, and these these people are legislating this when when they're the, when the full control is towards and they're and rightly so, and they they defend the foster parents because they're they're obviously in, involved in the case. But how can they adjudicate or mediate any situation independently? And this has been pointed out as a, a serious flaw. Okay. Is how it's been to the, to the point case. last year, breaking the in-camera, but I figured out that the, the court system is absolutely failing, not just me, but thousands of Irish people and children. Um, that I was then placed, uh, again, for breaking the in-camera rule, for trying to speak my truth, for trying to get um, um, my freedom of information files, which are not freedom of information. I was placed then for seven days in Mount Jai Prison, which I'd never been before. My son was placed in long-term care, and I was given a hearing the next day uh, with no, um, and nobody wanted to read the Bresborough report. We can't, a Bresborough report, which is 9,000 euro, Tusla own and paid for, we cannot get that Bresborough report. How are we meant, or are the Irish That's people fair, meant to get a fair trial in Ireland and look at our children where they are today? And we all know about it. We all know what's going on. So it takes for standing up here. Like the Bresborough report wasn't even read in evidence in court. We were in court and it wasn't even read in court. And we've, Angela's heard this now, I unfortunately haven't heard it. Because it's a glowing report. I spoke to the people who's involved. Absolutely. Every report. What's the point? It's a glowing report. Glowing. Okay. okay, Susan. Okay. Every no report brainer. involved in it, there's different workers. Every one of them have said that she met all criteria required and requested at every step. She did all the strand the test. Everything, everything she was required to do, um, she, she's done it. And then, you know, after three years, like, she got her access. She's taken it. And now, now bear in mind that Tusla, reunification is their main priority and natural, you know, development of a child. Now, this child has been torn asunder. He's been psychologically tortured because of this and because of these loopholes and because of this situation. And uh, as a Mackenzie, I, I, you know, I've spoken to Angela a, a lot about this and Angela's adamant that, that she's, she's willing to go to jail to highlight this, you know. And, uh, you know, all her friends, we're all very concerned about it, like, you know. The point that this, this is for he hasn't seen says. my son has not seen me in yeah. over a year and the last meeting I went down to the Tusla offices the gal Claire Quinn the garden Lighten, had got my son to write on, a, on on an iPad to say that he hated me now bear in mind I haven't spoke to my son in a whole year so who's giving him the information and who's talking to my son I haven't spoke to him in over a year so what are they telling him what is Tulsa telling my son Shocking. To keep a child away from their mums and dad and family, it's... Crazy. It's not just my child. Yeah. There's thousands, and, and we all know what's happening. It's, it's, it's so sad. My son is 10. He's only 10 years of age. He hasn't seen me in a year. Because of what? Because I spoke up. Because we reported it. This is where the breakdown happened. Everyone was going great. Like I said, all these reports, everyone... Angela, you can see for herself, she's a healthy mum, back, a uh, loving family. And the young, this year, the child has been, he's been in around the family, it's a family member who got the child. You know, she gave this, this child up because of her sickness. You know, I didn't drag him through it. No, you know? no, no, Plus, only intervened himself at the behest of the mother. And uh, <clears throat> when Angel became concerned, that's when Tusla started to show her face. Now, you know, at this point, you know, what other avenue does Angela have? We come here to speak yesterday. We asked to speak to a CEO or, or any intern, anybody who might be able to help. <coughs> a couple of people who did come or did come to help, Angela had already spoken to them. Yeah. You know, we said to do nothing. Um, I can't correspond with emails. They will not answer the phones to me anymore. Um, the only rights I have is, is if my son is medically sick and then they will let me know. All because <coughs> of what? And this is, not, this is not just me. There's thousands of other people out there. And hence why we're here today. Yeah. Um, so, um, the reason we're, here, you know, we're, we're, we're staying by here is because we'd like to speak to somebody. I mean, these people are, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to the facts and figures and so on. We know they're a well run company. They're, they're, they're uh, public funding, a private company, mind you, that has legislative powers and looking for more. They're looking mm. for more legislative powers. They're looking at the minute, and you rock this, to go back over historic cases, so people who have been abused in the past and the church connection. So they're looking to get involved with this as well. So they're not just a child care agency. They seem to be have investigative powers, legislative powers, uh, strong court powers. Yeah. And in somewhat, uh, they're diluting the, uh, the guardians of the state by not, you know, by telling people, go ahead, speak to them, knowing that legislation covers them. But this, to me, it, it, it would be a serious breach of, you know. Media 
is also gagged. Media is gagged, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So not only have they just took everything from me, they have jailed me, imprisoned me, took my son from me, and this is happening to other women too. Now you cannot let it out and let other people know. <coughs> and if you do, and if you say anything, the media will be then fined 50,000 euro to the point I had to go to England to do interviews. Because yeah, their legislation again. Protects. This is Ireland for you now. And bear in mind, it's legislation and acts and stuff like that that's only been recently passed. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you when you look at the fact that there's a, a Tusla and Nama were very well connected there. There was board directors, and it's been an issue, and it's been brought up that there's an awful lot of misgivings about monies. And you know, uh, I've looked in in depth. It's costing forty three thousand a week to keep three children in Tusla care a week to keep Tusla. To keep three children in care that I've examined, forty three thousand per week. It goes from this company to this company to this company to this company. It's a smoke screen. It's a money laundering system. And if they had any care, they would have met us here yesterday. They would have brought someone down that yeah. would be in charge. They would have given us all we asked for was something in black and white. They said that they would look at these files. We brought the files. They won't even look at the files. They will not. We, put we haven't even got a cup of tea. They wouldn't even allow us water. We brought that yesterday. We asked numerous times. Not alone with the not engaged, but they're treating us, obviously they're forcing a hunger strike upon us. But they can continue to do this, and you know, if they feel that it, it's going to get them anywhere. But this lady is not stopping. If she's willing to go to jail, uh, not getting a few cups of coffee and a bite to eat for a couple of days, this is what so about it. You know, and at this point, it's a disgrace that's come to this point. In particular, when we came here yesterday, and we put all this on the table, you know, and we were told we re acknowledge and more rhetoric and more of this, and we'll see what we can do, and we'll see, but nothing in black and white, no one to sign to say, okay, we're going to investigate this for you. Nobody's going to investigate this, you know, as far as we're concerned. You know, and as Angela's saying, it's not just Angela, I've, I've dealt with a few cases, as a Mackenzie, I've had a few phone calls, in particular with, um, you know, you know the, uh, Tusla, the cases, and it seems to be... There's, there's a, thousands yeah. upon thousands. And they're not vetted, now, remember, most of them come through agencies, so this they're is not even vetted. unbelievable. If someone can come through an agency after a few weeks' training, become a, a, a care worker, okay, no qualifications and so on, and yet they can be composed, and in five to six weeks, they can have legislative powers and be in control of a courtroom when they're, or, or in an independent situation, which isn't given. I mean, it's, it's, how does this happen, like, you know? And it's all to suit the big numbers, the smoke screen, the money laundering, and that's what's going on behind Tusla. And it's there to be seen in black and white, and anyone that can have an in depth where the money is just going from this company to this company to this company everything is a dad and crossed but you know 43,000 and the same people are taking them off they wouldn't give this woman a, a, a social welfare because she wasn't from the country and yet they, they could provide 43 and this woman was expected to live in 70 euro a week and yet and when Tusta took them on board it cost 43,000 a week and they claim to be doing something great for these children but the very woman who, who took the children off what was having her rights abused and breached by, because Tusla interfered and she was given 60 euro a week with three kids for nearly an eight month period. She was living on charities and the whole lot and eventually, eventually they swooped in, you know, and, 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 and to this day, 43,000 a week is the cost. And she was expected to live on 70 a week, you know, and it's, uh, it's, it's corruption. It's corruption to the backbone, you know. Um, Tusla and Garda, uh, and Garda she kind of career, uh, this is the one you were in earlier, yeah, isn't yeah. it, Angelia? Yeah, You've done the video on that, right? So. Like, like this has been, this has been done. This has been, you know, completely covered. Up. And I've all the evidence to back everything up we're saying there today. And what's more about what's going on around the country with us, that, like, I haven't just, you know, I spent the last six weeks going on there and meeting people, staying in places, some harassing cases. It's, it's taken a lot of me. But one thing I have learned, I've seen a common thread here. There's a lot of deceit going on, a lot of deception. Uh, money laundering, that's all you could describe it as. When nobody can tell me it costs 43,000 euro per week to keep three children. And nobody can tell me that when a concerned parent makes a complaint, it, it can't be investigated by Angarda or, or, or it must be left in the, in the hands of trust, a private company. So are we going to privatise the guardians and the laws and the legislation now? Because that's where it's going. If you look at uh, what's happening here, that's where we stand at the minute. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's disgraceful. And the biggest disgrace of all is, and I, there's reports after reports from doctors to say that parent alienation is what was done to Angela when she made the complaint. No email, we've, we've numerous emails, numerous attempts to contact them, they're ignored. Parent alienation is a crime, 
and it's a, it's a form of psychological abuse and the doctor's reports to show this, like but proper, proper reports to show this. So at the minute, Tusla is torturing this woman and her son, and not just that, her friends, and not just that, but all, a lot of people around, uh, you know, w in particular they find weaker cases and vulnerable people, you know, and it's a serious crime, man. You know, Dara, I, I really appreciate it. either of you here today, I know you're both young guards and you're in, in the early stage of your career, but I would advise either of you to take the mantle up and don't let go and use your powers and don't be afraid because it needs to be done. You know, we're just normal people here, hurt people, you know, friends and, and, and so on. But we need someone who, who has the gumption and the ability and the powers to stand up and, and, and take the lead here, you know. I've been involved with ACT, you know, I, I have good friends there with your own colleagues, stuck up for many of your colleagues there, outside courtrooms there as well. You know, why, what I personally do is anti-corruption, but I, I, in all the stuff I see with Ankara, I've seen some things going on, but I've seen nothing like what's going on with Antosta. Yeah. You know, I seen bullying going on in Garda. I seen the majority of Garda were good Garda, and obviously there was this old school trend. I'm not, I'm not here, to, you know, to expand on any more of that. But, but I appreciate as, as much support as you can give us here today, Garda. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, thanks okay, very thanks much. Okay. No, we'll just appreciate that. Um, is, is okay here? Okay, well, if we could get, we were allowed we to keep coffee water, or nice. something to eat or something. Twenty four hours. Later. We have loads of people. They're all in yeah. yeah. There was about six or eight people here last night. They, they, they were, were they here overnight? Yeah. No, well, some of them. Some, some of them left this morning. Okay. Yeah. Were you here? Yeah. You were yeah. 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 over twenty four hours now. Okay. I, I'm a I'm a survivor of what Angela's brought to Lauren and her child. You know, it's cruelty beyond belief. Keep the child away from their mum and dad. Without good reason, without pledged or proven power or proven, you know. So, but uh, you know, I think at this stage, you know, they're forcing a hunger strike and all. <coughs> all we want is Pat Rather or one of the top, top three people in this this, uh, this building. They get six seven hundred eighty million from the state every year, and they get an, an, another uh, five hundred million from NGOs. Which, uh, surely someone could come down here and say, okay. If what you're saying is correct, because, you know, it's, I'm making it quite clear what the problem is, and I've made it clear to the rest, if what I'm saying is correct, we will certainly look into this, and we'll give you an assurance here, and we'll put this up in Pat Ross, and we'll bring it up to Catherine's opponent, Minister for, again, who's not fit for purpose. Uh, and that's not me saying that, that's that, a full HICWA report. Yeah. So, look, we're, we're at a stand here, so any support, again, that, that you might be able to offer, I put it, would, would be most appreciated. Have you, have you some more, uh, some more coming? I presume you are here for the long haul. Yeah, yeah we're, we're not moving here. Until we get an assurance that this is going to be investigated. We need something in black and white. Because you know the way this works. You go away, come back. Well, I'm not sure if you were speaking to me or not. We mm. will. Yeah. Yeah. No. Have these, uh, I know there's security here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Have, have, um, is there actually st just the staff here? There seems to be a couple. There seems to be a couple there now. Okay. But we haven't met any. Them no, and there's a lot of the public are looking to get in some water and some food. some food. A lot of the public, and um, Tussle is refusing. We, we don't know. We know the security behind us here, but we don't know. There's a couple of women who walked in here. We don't know who they are. What staff they are. They Tussle or are they? They're probably Tussle. I honestly don't know. Like uh, we we literally just walked yeah. when, when we walked in. We said hello to us first. Yeah. Um, that was us just walking into the building. I didn't yeah. see didn't see anyone else around the building. Yeah. Other than um, security, I obviously think that you were talking there was someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We pay, like we peacefully assembled, and you know, yeah. Yeah. I, I, we just obviously they were only here on one, on one for one thing only. Yeah. And yeah. it's for from clar clarification and some assurances, and something in black and white to say that this will be investigated. Yeah. <coughs> and yeah. that means forced yeah. hunger strike until we get that. But then <coughs> that, that's the position we find ourselves in, and we we'll, we will remain. And I will certainly. Mm -hmm. Maybe staying here, and, 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 and this lady seems to be staying as well. But uh, you know, at this point, we're left with no choice. We just have no choice. Yeah. Look, it's here in peaceful assembly. You're not, yeah. gonna, you're not gonna come across any no. aggression from no. us. No, so no, we will not. No. No. So we, we, we just have to call up and just give us assess. Of course, okay. appreciate that. Um, best of luck. Do you mind if I get your own number, Gary, if you don't mind? My number? Yeah, please, if you don't mind. It's my shoulder number. Okay, there. that's fine. I'll, I'll write it down in a minute. That's fine. I'll write it in a minute. That's fine. Thank you. Just so I can remember. Right. That's okay. I appreciate that. Like if I'll give you my full name. If like yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, I get that. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. No, no, we appreciate <laughs> that. We never do. We never put yeah. the faces on or, yeah. or any of this. We, you won't see anything. Mm. 
it won't uh, encroach in in any way. Yeah, so. no, no, I know it's fine. That's, that's mm. fine. Mm. It's, it's fine. We, we just appreciate we it. Heard, we heard there was a progress coming on here on so what's, yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Um, no, this is an assembly. Yeah, assembly. yeah of course. Assembly. Yeah, and look, you're not going to meet any aggression from us. No. We're, 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 we'll li- listen to you and we'll, we'll, we'll assess, like, the yeah. pe- people that's here. There's, there's only three of us. Yeah. And <coughs> best of luck. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, and thanks for the concern, well, anyway, and your voice. I don't know. Is we here overnight? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, we'll probably be here and if you can get any water even then and if they're not willing to allow the food and there's a lot of people in Dublin are looking to get No, it, uh, there's this man, there's two um, security guards here but um, he's under instruction by um, his uh, superiors. superiors that he was told not to open any doors and mm. not to let us have a the building would normally be closed at, yeah. the, at the weekend. Yeah, but was, yesterday we were able to get stuff in. Yeah, because th- there were different security. So there were there were. The brine, the water, like we had yeah. when we come in. We thought we were going to be here for yeah. for the usual half an hour, an hour, mm. whatever. Get get something done, yeah. like. But if we get a commitment, we can't leave, you know. And if they want to force a hunger strike or or, or, or if that's up to them, because it's they, it's in the ball is in their court. Yeah. Know? And to be fair to us, like we we oh, we're not looking for anything that they can't do. It's a simple thing for someone that comes down there and say, okay, this is a serious matter. <clears throat> and if what you're saying is correct, we will be fully uh, exhausting the, our investigation. You know, and at the very least, in the meantime, they could, could say, well, look, if this goes to show you, like, they can't, we can't even have a, a, a drink of water or nothing. Yeah. So we, we'll starve them out, like, until they go away. Yeah. We'll lock them up, we'll starve them out. Okay, and it's not acceptable. And all I had to do here yesterday was give us a credit. We went into the office, we spoke to a, fr- a, a senior member and he says, we'll give you an acknowledgement. Thank you. Thank you.